and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Where in the world is... Carmen San Diego. This is Noah Hornstein. She's a competitive swimmer who's been to Baltimore, Cape May, and various places in Florida. She plays tennis and enjoys reading and writing poems. This is Clayton Jacobs. He plays basketball, street hockey, baseball, soccer, and the French horn. While on vacation, he walked underneath the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. This is Kristen Torres. She likes playing basketball and shopping. She's visited Florida and Puerto Rico, and she'd like to visit Norway and Ireland to find out about her ancestors. And this is Vic the Slick, Carmen San Diego's heinous hustler, huckster, and heistmeister. Vic the Slick. His last known whereabouts, London, England. In the 17th and 18th centuries, most English gentlemen wore wigs. The fashion faded, except in courtrooms. White horsehair wigs are still required attire for judges and for barristers, the English equivalent for trial lawyers. Today, some barristers complain that the toppers are hot, ugly, and unsanitary. But England loves tradition, and so far, the wigs have stayed. Until today, that is, <laughs> when Vic lollygagged into London and whisked away the wigs. Gumshoes, you've got to stop the slick one. Catch Carmen and answer the barrister's cry for justice. <laughs> Give me back my wig. <laughs> and here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. How you doing? How you doing, guys? Thank you very much. Hi, is it Noel? Nice to see you. Clayton? Kristen, nice to see you guys. Listen, I just want to remind you guys, if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to be able to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And that's not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So to help you get started, we're going to start you out with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And uh, you guys know how to play this game. So let's get started with our very first clue, which is from Bite and Scratch. Six stole the foamy head, now the cotton heads are bare. With the wigs in which the barristers toil. Such a project all stay situated, but they overfilled that was once full of oil. People pump them nearly dry, they'll be empty as the sky, sky. just a few short years from now. So Victor said they got a bust, while the oil bites the dust. dust in the nation of the islands. Meow. Thanks, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Bahrain, <laughs> Kuwait, or Oman? Remember the clues that we heard on the Persian Gulf? Oil wells on the verge of running dry and nation of islands. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Try and time to find uh, Vic and the barrister's wigs. Clayton's ready, so is Kristen, and so is Noel. Noel, what do you say? Bahrain. Bahrain. What do you think, Clayton? I say Bahrain. Bahrain. Kristen? I say Kuwait. Kuwait. The answer we're looking for is Bahrain. Nice job, Noel and Clayton. And you guys already know, once you give us a correct answer, we give you 10 crime bucks. That means, Noel, you have 60. Clayton has 60. And Kristen, still at 50 crime bucks, but nothing to worry about. This is still very early. Now, for our next clue, let's get the latest on his whereabouts from Acme Cashnet. Watch. Hey, I just got out of Vic's wallet. We're in an Italian city on the Adriatic Sea, near the Slovenian border. The people share as much language, music, and art with Slovenia as they do with the rest of Italy. In fact, this city nearly joined Yugoslavia with Slovenia after World War II. Just think, if that had happened, Vic would be spending tolars instead of getting his greasy mitts all over lira like me. Okay, name the city, if you will, please, guys. Is it Khan, Trieste, or Ravenna? Remember the clues that we heard. Italian city on Adriatic Sea. Nearly joined Yugoslavia after World War II and borders Slovenia. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Noel is ready. So is Clayton. So is Kristen. Noel, what do you say? I said Ravenna. Ravenna. What do you think, uh, Clayton? I said Trieste. Trieste. What do you think, Kristen? I said Trieste. Trieste. The answer we're looking for is... Trieste. Nice job, guys. Oh, yeah. So that means, Noel, you have 60. Clayton has 70. Kristen, 60 crime bucks. Nice job. Wait one second. Pardon me. Let me just uh, get this. Yeah. Well, hi, Greg. 
Hiya, Scott. Hey, man, listen. You look great, man. Well, thanks, Greg. I, I feel great. You know, no offense, but usually when you come in here, you, you look actually, well, pretty dead. Well, no one stabbed me. No one dropped me out of the yeah. window. No one ran me over. I, I feel good. That's great. And I have a clue for you. Terrific. Vicks in a city in Liberia. Uh-huh. Which city? Well, the place is wet, wet, wet. From uh -huh. May to October, it rains more than an inch a day on average. Well, you know, that's true for the whole country. We, we really need uh, to know more specifics. Well, in 1980, there was a military coup, uh -huh. and it's the capital. Scott, that was terrific. That was really great. Ladies and gentlemen, the living... It's really nice. Really nice, really. Okay, guys, name the, uh, what is it? Uh, city. City. Name the city, guys, if you will, please. Is it Bo, Monrovia, or Basau? Remember the clues that we heard. Capital of Liberia. Very rainy from May to October. Ooh, in 1980. You smell better, actually, too. Thank you. Stop breathing on my neck. Okay, Clayton's ready. So is Noel. So is Kristen. Noel, what do you say? I said Monrovia. Monrovia. Clayton. I said Basau. Basau. Kristen. I said Basau. Basau, the answer we're looking for is Monrovia. Nice job, Noel. <laughs> so that means, Noel, you have 70. Clayton has 70. Kristen has 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Hey, you know, listen, we're, we're going to have the uh, lightning round soon. You want to stick around, maybe? <laughs> Bummer. Okay, guys, uh, as you know, it's time for the lightning round. They, uh, that means that all these questions are about Vic the Slick's most recent known whereabouts, which is Liberia. For every correct answer, we give you five crime bucks. <laughs> Hands on your buses, please. Listen carefully. Here we go. Liberia's capital, Monrovia, was named for a famous American. Was it Marilyn Monroe, James Monroe, or Montel Williams? Noel. James Monroe. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Is it 75? Question two. Liberia was originally founded by freed black slaves from the U.S. When did this happen? About 40 years before the Civil War, during the Civil War, or 40 years after the Civil War? Clayton. 40 years after the Civil War? Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Noel. 40 years before the Civil War? Is right. Nice job, Noel. Five for you. Takes up to 80. Last question. Liberia borders another nation established as a colony for freed slaves. Great Britain settled this country in 1787. Is it Tanzania, South Africa, or Sierra Leone? Clayton. South Africa. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Kristen. Sierra Leone. Uh, Sierra Leone. Right. Five for you. Good job. Okay, so that means at the end of that round, Noel has 80, Clayton has 70, Kristen 65 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. For Greg, our next... come into my office. Oh, yeah, Chief, I'll be right there. If you guys will excuse me for just a moment. We have a lot of things going on here today. Be right back. Hold on. What's up, Chief? Greg, I can't find the Acme Field Agents tracking folders. You know where they are? Oh, yeah, I put them down in the basement. What basement? I didn't know we had a basement. Sure, we have a basement. It's downstairs. What? I know it's downstairs. You said you didn't know we had a basement. I was... You know what I mean. Okay. Now, uh, could you get them for me, please? I'd be glad to. Thank Just you. hold on a second. I want to check the uh, light on this thing, too, because it wasn't... Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh, here they are, right here. Oh. The light's not working, by the way. Oh, God. Oh, it's dark. Oh. Greg? Yeah? There's only one sheet of paper in here, and it says, Note to viewers. Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Now, every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, uh, Greg, yeah. this is great information, but yeah. the tracking folders... Oh, right. Uh, uh, be careful. I will. You know, it's so dark down here, Chief. Sometimes you have to really watch your step. But I've got my really nifty filing system, and I think most people would be very proud... Greg? Hiya, Chief. Oh, I knew there was no basement. Here we are in the middle of an investigation, and instead of getting the files I need, you're wasting time with juvenile trickery. Now stand up, mister, and get out of here. Here are your files. 
Okay, Gumshoes, remember, we're still <coughs> looking for Vic and the Barrister's wigs. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Vic and Carmen San Diego. Head across the Gulf of Thailand to the land of the free. How am I gonna sell these wigs, Carmen, if the people are used to getting stuff for free? No, Vic. They call it land of the free because unlike other Asian countries, this one has never been ruled by a Western nation. Take the Chow Praia River and lay low in a city called Nakan Sawan. Gotcha, Carmen. Y you think that'll keep Acme out of my hair? Nothing on earth could stick in your hair, Vic. Okay, guys, name the uh, country, if you will, please. Is it Vietnam, Cambodia, or Thailand? Remember the clues that we heard? Located on the Gulf of Thailand, city of Nakhon Sawan, and never been ruled by Western nation. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, please. Trying to find Vic in the wigs. Clayton's ready, so is Noel, so is Kristen. Noel, what do you say? I said Cambodia. Cambodia, Clayton. I said Cambodia. Cambodia, Kristen. I said Cambodia. Everybody said Cambodia. Everybody's... Wrong. Sorry about that, you guys. Tough break there. Yeah, the, the answer we're looking for was Thailand. So that means, Noel, you have 80. Clayton has 70. Kristen, 65. Crime bug. What is... Greg? Yeah. Yeah, we have a lighting problem. Why don't you, okay. uh, yeah, take a break, quick break for, okay. while we fix it here. Okay, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. Hmm. A quick break. Just what I need right now. Maybe it'll give me a fresh perspective on this case. Hmm. A woman in judicial robes. There's a tag here. Woman governor, 1924. Maybe Vic's in a state where the first woman governor was elected in 1924. The place is still similar to how it was back then. Fewer people than any other state. And lots of sheep and cattle ranches. Maybe there's another hint around here somewhere. I knew it. Ranchers in that state recruit horsemen from places like Mexico, Chile, Argentina, even Mongolia to ride herd on their livestock. Now, I've got a handle on this. <laughs> okay, gumshoes, name the state, if you will, please. Is it California, Wyoming, or Colorado? Remember the clues that we heard? First state to elect woman governor, least populated state, and cowboys from many countries. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Kristen's ready, so is Clayton. And Noelle's still thinking about it. Now she's ready. Noelle, what do you say? I said Wyoming. Wyoming. Clayton? I said Wyoming. Wyoming. Kristen? I said Colorado. Colorado. The answer we are looking for is Wyoming. Nice job, Noelle and Clayton. So that means, Duell, you have 90, Clayton has 80, Kristen 65 crime bucks. Now, we just received word that Vic has left Wyoming, so let's pick up the chase. The chase. <laughs> All of these worth five crime bucks, hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor, listen carefully, here we go. Vic whisk the wigs to Custer Battlefield National Monument. What state is he in? Noel. Montana. Is right. Then he wigged out, on out to the capital of North Dakota, name it. Noel Bismarck. is right. From North Dakota, Vic flew southeast to Topeka. What state is he in, Noel? Kansas. Right. Next, he wiggled the wigs across the western border of Kansas, named the Noel. Colorado. Is right. Then that weasel took the wigs to the Wasset, uh, Noel. Utah. Utah. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of the chase round, Noel is 115, Clayton 80, Kristen 65. Woo! Noel, great round on that one. Okay, now, everybody get ready. It's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Very important. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Vic is headed. Now, you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So... Take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready for our final clue. We go to Michael Fishman of Acme Roseanne Net. Watch. Vic took the wigs to Oregon's largest city on the Willamette River. It's got the oldest symphony orchestra in the West Coast and the nation's only museum of advertising. While you're there, check out Millen's Park, 
the smallest park in the world. Only two feet across. It gets lapels bigger than that. Thanks, Mike. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Portland, Coos Bay, or Salem? Remember the clues that we heard. Oregon's largest city, world's smallest park, and oldest symphony orchestra on the West Coast. This is the final answer, the final uh, clue, rather, for this uh, round, so be sure and put your answers right there in front of you. Okay, Kristen, you have 65 crime bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say, Kristen? I said Portland. Portland is right. Nice job, Kristen. <laughs> Takes up to 85. Good. Clayton, you have 80 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say, Clay? I said Portland. Nice job, buddy. Takes you up to 110. Noelle, you have 115. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. You look happy. What'd you say? I said Salem. Oh, tough break. You'll go down 20, but that means you have 95, so that still means no Noelle and Clayton, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations, guys. Kristen, listen, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us here today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. Your help was indispensable in tracking down Vic. Now, here's a token of our appreciation. It's your Acme travel kit. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and it's your world ball. Perfect for half-court play, full-court play, or a lecture on plate tectonics. Yes! Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, it's time for us to go to Portland. Oh, come on, Greg. Time's a wasting. Chief, I just have a couple of things to go over with him. I'll be right with you. Just hold on a second. Okay, guys, it's time for us to go to Portland to try to find the wigs and Vic the Slick. You guys all ready to go? Yeah? Okay, uh, listen, if you could grab my luggage, please, Clayton. And, uh, Noel, if you could grab my hat. And, Clayton, if you wouldn't mind getting the door, too. I've got the Chief. We're on our way. We're going to Portland. <laughs> Hey, if I'd known we were taking the amphibious cars, I'd have brought my water skis. That's why I didn't tell you, Greg. <laughs> okay, guys, come on. Here we are in Portland, Oregon. Take your positions right over here, if you will, please. The church, uh, the uh, chief is here with us. Uh, we'll just plug her in here. You ready, chief? Gumshoes. There are 15 places here in Portland where you might find Vic the Slick, the Warrant, or the Wigs. Let's look at a few of them. First, Mount Hood just outside Portland. <laughs> Make sure that snow on the mountaintops, not wads of white wigs. Roses thrive in Portland's mild, moist climate, so the city hosts the Rose Festival every June. Check out the Japanese gardens, a fine example of the culture brought by the area's East Asian immigrants. Finally, poke around the statue of Portlandia, America's second largest copper statue after the Statue of Liberty. Tug on its hair, gumshoes, you never know. Well, that's your briefing, gumshoes. Now, go find that follicle-filching fashion felon. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, you know the order. Loot, warrant, crook. Clayton, you're ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Japanese gardens. Japanese gardens. Nothing there, but we're on our way. Noel. Rocky Butte. Rocky Butte. <laughs> Nothing there. What happened? Did you get something in your mouth? What was the matter? I don't know. Oh, okay. I didn't know what that face was. Okay, Clayton, go ahead. Church of Elvis? Church of Elvis. Nothing. Nothing there. It's a coin-operated uh, art exhibit. And that's all the details I'm giving you on that one. Noel, go ahead. Iris Fountain. Iris Fountain. Nothing there and no facial expression from Noel. Clayton, go ahead. Rose Test Garden? Rose Test Garden. Nothing. Nothing there. Go ahead, Noel. Weather machine. Weather machine. The warrant. Okay, you have the warrant. You'll get a free turn. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead, Noel. Iris Fountain. Iris Fountain. Nice strategy. We turn them both back around. Clayton, go ahead. Mill Ends Park. Mill Ends Park. Nothing. Nothing there, but it is indeed the smallest park in the world. Noel, go ahead. Artquake Festival. Artquake Festival. Wangle Nice job. You get the loot, you get a free turn. Go ahead, Noel. Weather machine. Weather machine. The warrant. You, ma'am, have the loot. You also have the warrant. Can you find the crook? Reed College. Reed College. Is Vic there? 
No, sorry. We'll turn all three back around. Clayton, your turn. Artquake Festival. Artquake Festival. Nice new hair pieces. Go ahead, Clayton. Weather Machine. Weather Machine. The Warrant. You, sir, also have the loot and the warrant. Can you find Victor Slick? Statue of Portlandia. Is Victor Slick at the Statue of Portlandia? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Very nice, you guys. Thanks a lot. Come here, Clayton. Nice sportsmanship around you. Nice job, Clayton. Listen, man, you found Victor Slick. Now you know what you have to do. Let's put him in jail. Pull the chain and do it, man. Okay, listen, buddy, we'll talk about your next adventure just a little bit. First off, Noel, listen, you are a fantastic detective. You almost got picked the slick here, but we've assembled something that's really going to be nice for you. Chief, I know how hard you've been working, and I know that some cases can be tough on a young gumshoe. So, to cheer you up, I've assembled an official Acme travel kit, along with a world band radio that you can use to catch up on the latest from Radio Japan, the BBC, the Voice of America, even Radio Moscow. Congratulations! Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, Clayton, listen, now all you have to do is catch Carmen San Diego. If you do that, you get a fantastic trip. What we want to find out before we find out where Carmen San Diego is, is find out where you'd like to go if you catch her. Here is your whole wheat portfolio. You know what's inside, right? Yep. Yeah, he knows what to do, too. So we're going. Here we go. And I will have you know, Clayton did not just think of this right off the top of his head. He told me that he'd been thinking of this for how long? How many months? He doesn't know. But a lot of time, a lot of time has gone into this. It's a fabulous choice, by the way. Very good. So now, you know what happens next, right? Yes. What is it? We go to the map. Right, but before that, we... Oh, the phone rings. That's right, the phone rings. Boom. And you, who's usually on the phone? The criminal. Let me just see. Victor. Who? Victor. You're expecting... You want to just talk to him? Yeah. Oh, why should I talk to him? He don't want to talk to me. Go ahead. From salesman of the century to starch and socks in the prison laundry. I'm climbing down the ladder of success. Look for Carmen in Asia. What do you say, Clayton? Asia. Okay, so Clayton, you and I are going to Asia. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Turkey. Lebanon. Saudi Arabia. United Arab Emirates. Kazakhstan. Tajikistan. Pakistan. China. Malaysia, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Taiwan, Japan. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. Uh, okay, you know what this is all about, right? Yeah. You got to get eight in 45 seconds. If you do that, you get the trip. When you put the marker on the right place, you'll hear this. If by chance you put it on the wrong place, though, you'll hear this. You'll hear that noise twice. Come on, uh, come on back, and we'll continue. But you get eight right in 45 seconds. You'll then win that trip. You ready to do this, Clayton? Yes. You guys ready? Yes. All right, come on, Clayton. Let's come over here and do this thing. Get a marker in your hand. Do you have any suggestions about this problem? Let's drag him off. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's get 45 seconds over the clock. Let's get the dead guy off the map, please. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, ready? Get that in your You can pick it up even if you want to, okay? 45 seconds over the clock. You guys be sure and cheer him on. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come to Turkey. 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 Try it again. Turkey. Turkey. Come back. Come here. China. China. Guangzhou. Twan China. Yeah. Come on. Beirut. Lebanon. 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 Do it, buddy. Lebanon. Try it again. Try it again. Lebanon. Lebanon. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tajikistan. 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 You shot me. Try it again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shramba in the Indonesia. 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 Cheer them on, you guys. Come on. Try it again. Try it again. You got it. You got it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dubai. United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. You know this one. Try it again, buddy. Try it again. No. Come on. Come on. Ooh. 
1 and 45 seconds. Give him a big round of applause, you guys. Come here, buddy. I will tell you something. This map is the hardest for me of any of them. This is the hardest map for me to do of any of them. Well, listen, man, you have nothing to be ashamed of, man. You caught the crook. You did what we asked you to do. Chief, what do you say? Carmen San Diego can be hard to catch, but you did the job you were hired to do. You captured Vic the Flick. That's why I'm giving you a portable CD player and this library of CDs from around the world and pay particular attention to this CD by Rockapella, featuring our theme song. It may contain some useful clues for your next case. And listen with pride. You are a sleuth. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, man. Put it there. Sleuth. Congratulations. Plus, you get that CD player and the CDs. How do you feel? Good. You should feel good, man. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You did a great job today. You've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing, though, I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockapella. <laughs> Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's sticky finger filch up from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul and stop the wheel. They're not going to try all the red seats of Greenland. She'll be singing the blues. Well, they never thought you saw her steal the Rico from the jungle. Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where could she be? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? 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 This is Lynn Figton for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? And remember, gum shoes never botch the chase. They're fleet of foot and fair of face. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.